Hey, good morning, everyone. It's about 5.30 on Monday morning, and I am out front. Today is sandbag day, third round, week three, day 18 of Story Athlete Grit. I heard the cold front come in around three o'clock this morning with wind and driving rain, and I was thinking to myself, shit, I hope I don't have to do this workout in rain and wind. Unfortunately, it has stopped raining. However, it is going to be very, very sloppy. Uh, but that is what it is, you know. Uh, the last couple of weeks, I have done five rounds of this workout. Week one, I did it in 21 minutes. Week two, I did it in 18 minutes. So rather than try to beat my 18-minute time this week, as is my commitment for weeks three and four, I'm going to bump it up to six rounds. So even though there is no F6 for this workout, I am creating F6. Today's story athlete principle is I embrace small wins. So continuing to move that needle and continuing to make progress week after week is a small win for me. And I think the thing that I enjoy the most about this workout, even though I don't necessarily like it, nor do I like any of the workouts, they all inflict their own individual type of pain. But what I do like about this workout is not getting it out first thing on Monday morning uh, tends to set the tone for my week. This is a tone setter, so let's go set that tone. Alrighty, six rounds of sandbags in the books. It is now officially raining pretty hard right now and has been for about the last 10-15 minutes of this workout. But like I said last week, gotta train for every condition. Who knows what it's gonna be like when I go run that Spartan race. Shit. <laughs> uh, like I said in my uh, video on Friday, the mountain doesn't give a shit. It doesn't care if it's raining, doesn't care if it's sloppy, doesn't care if it's muddy, they don't give a shit. So gotta train for the unexpected, gotta train in all kinds of conditions. Uh, this week, six rounds, I was able to do it in 21-28, uh, which sets a new benchmark. I keep getting a shadow in my face here. Sets the new benchmark for next week to try to beat. Uh, in comparison, I got to F5, five rounds in 1748, which was about 20 seconds, 20, 30 seconds faster than last week. And the uh, mark of 21-28 for six rounds is only 40 seconds slower than I did the full five rounds in week one. So talk about embracing small wins and progress over perfection made in pretty, pretty significant improvement uh, in three weeks time. Time to bust out this finisher and uh, we'll be on our way. Fifty burpees in two minutes and fifty-three seconds, which is two seconds faster than last Thursday. I'm actually kind of surprised about that because, for me, burpees—the first things that go are my thighs. And uh, you know, since this workout here with the sandbags is all about the glutes, the hamstrings, and the thighs, with with all those sandbag lunges, the the thighs are the first things to go when I'm doing my burpees. So I was really surprised that I set a PR and part, part of me is a little pissed because that means I got to continue to beat it. You know, if you just deal in med mediocrity and continue to stay around the same spot, you don't have to continue to push yourself to get better. Uh, but you know what? Two second improvements, a small win. And that's what we're after, small wins. So Monday morning's workout is in the books. Day 18 of Story Athlete Grit is done. Setting the tone for the week. Go out and do it, guys. Have a great one.